one bid shows what? A strong plain suit. Doesn't promise extra values. We already know uh, we're going uh, to gain. So, over this three spades, or whatever this is, three hearts, now, responder can qubit if he has anything to qubit. If he's got the ace of uh, spades, he can bid it. So it goes one heart, two clubs, three hearts, three spades. That's a qubit showing the ace of spades. If, however, partner doesn't bid the ace of spades and they bid uh, four diamonds, what are they telling me? No ace of spades. And? No ace of clubs. That's right. They're telling me the ace they have and the two aces they don't have. And so... Can I say that again? Mm -hmm. Okay. I bid one heart. Two clubs, standing horse, three hearts, this is the suit, three spades, it's a cubit, ace. If they bid four diamonds and they don't bid three spades or four clubs, they don't have those two aces. We bid our controls cheapest possible. Oh, okay. So when we skip one, we skip it because we don't have it. Uh, and when we say the cheapest, we, we're not counting the ace of, you know, trumps, if, if, if that pertained to anything. Lynn, yes, question. It, I'm reading right here, and it says, the part of the mystery, no problem. With a major like that, why did you want to go through that? Well, his strength outside and I hope he has a way to get to the dummy but he must think that he does because you wouldn't be jumping with 10 points which would be the ace king queen jack you would have to have an outside card right mm -hmm. a queen a king or something uh, because as I said we're not showing a big hand by this jump we're just showing a self-sufficient suit and um, No, depends on partner's hand. Um, if partner has all these tricks outside, and you know that no trump scores better than uh, a suit contract, even a major, and you also know that when you've got a lot, a lot of points, even if you're not slam, you've got a lot of points, favor no trump, because if you play a no trump, you get away from bad splits and roughs. <laughs> so yeah. that's just kind of a, not just because, um, I was playing with, with an expert online one night, and someone was convincing us, and my partner bid three no trump, and he had my suit. And the person said, well, he just, you know, he was, he's a better player than I am. Of course he is. He's an expert. Expert. And... They said, well, he just, you know, he just didn't want you playing it. But that wasn't it. He knew we had the preponderance of the points. And by him playing no trump, we were not going to get a bad trump split. We were not going to get a rough out of the ordinary. So uh, the answer is maybe. It's a bad bid, but maybe not. If I bid three spades like, or three hearts like that, and my partner bid three no trump, and I had that, I would definitely bid uh, four. I'd say, nope, I'm planned. Sorry. Because the more of these I have, the more distributional shortness I have elsewhere uh, for tricks. So, rarely would anyone, uh, rarely would anyone pull you out if, they, if that is your agreement. My suit is self-sustaining. But that's why it's important not to do it with just six if you don't have the top, the top four. It's important for partner to know. And truth is, partner might 
want to be in six? No. And he's counting on about six hearts from you. And he's not going to get them if um, they don't run. Okay? You'll get three. And there would be yeah, a transportation. Could be and transportation could be a real killer. So I think it is a, a bid that is used for a special message. And if that is the message you want to send, then it's a good bid. But if you abuse it, it's not a good bid. Okay? All right. Now, uh, so he makes the point that here, if partner bids for clubs, this should be a cubit. He shouldn't be insisting on his suit. We have said we're going to play in this suit. Yeah. It's a major. You don't take a partner out of a major to play in a minor. So this would be a cubit. And it would deny the ace of spades, right? Because he skipped uh, spades. Now, um, he discourages, and I agree, jumping to four of the majors. There's no reason to jump to four. You're taking up so much bid room. You, if partner has to bid again, go slow. That is the beauty of two over one. Make your bids, and fast arrival denies interest in saying anything else. And even if partner does have some interest, so what? <laughs> he can't. I mean, he's got to go above game level to even Q bid. So a Q bid below game level. It's just, it's not a commitment to a slam. It shows some interest. So here, we're below game level, right? Mm -hmm. But if we jump to four hearts and you get five clubs, now what? There's no reason to ever jump uh, to four when you're playing two over one. Um, I've debated <clears throat> on whether to discuss the next section or not. It is um, splinters by the opener. Okay? And remember over here when we said, now go back to these one no trump forcing options so you'll keep them straight. One heart, one no trump forcing. Three clubs. Jump shift, right? Mm -hmm. So in two over one, because we don't need to show a game forcing hand with a jump shift, if we jump shift, it has a meaning, just like our, our, our jumps did. So one heart, um, two clubs, three diamonds or three spades would be a splinter in support of clubs. Now, how many of you play splinters? Okay. Basically, a splinter is a double jump. Um, One heart, four clubs. Two clubs would be gay, two over one. Three clubs would be, I have a lot of clubs, but not enough to bid two clubs, right? So what is what the heck is four clubs? It's a singleton, it's shortness. Singleton or void. In clubs, and you've got four trumps. You've got four hearts. Your hand is might be something like uh, ace, little, little, four hearts, uh, singleton club, diamonds. If your partner opens a heart, are you going to be in game with that hand? Yeah, because in support of hearts, it's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 points. 
So you can splinter in clubs, and that tells partner we're going to game in your suit, and I've got shortness in clubs. So that if partner had something like, so that would show me diamonds. Yeah, fine. No. Did, did I have diamond here? You no, you club. said shortness and clubs, and you meant oh. shortness and diamond. Well, that would be shortness and diamond. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you know, you have to keep straight here. If opener had something like the king, double, ten of spades, and the ace, queen, we're going to give you five, and he has. Uh, He has diamonds, three little clubs. He's got 13, but what if he knows he only has one or zero club losers? Then slam is a real probability, yes. Do not do a struggle to no time. You can. Okay. You can. Some people splinter, some He's people Jacoby. Um, splinters take up a lot of room, you know, it's a double jump, but it gets the message across. And on the other hand, in partner's hand, is that he's not interested in slam. He has too many values here and not here. Does that make sense? So when you splinter and you find partner's weakness, that's a good thing. But when you splinter into partner's maybe second suit, that's not a good thing. Because his values are going to be wasted with your hand being short. Okay. Splinters are not an integral part of two over one. If you do not play splinters and you don't feel you want to play splinters at this point, then I think that's just fine. I think that for a lot of two over one players that think they know two over one, they would get a little confused with some of the splinter bits. So my recommendation is that you skip over the section on 26 where it talks about a splinter, okay? And let's go down to 27 where they talk about rebidding some number of no -trump. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. One spade, two clubs, three no. Well, why would you jump to three no instead of bidding two no? You don't have to. Some people want to make that distinction, right, that I mentioned, that one spade, two clubs, two no is either 12 to 14 or 18 to 19. And that one spade, two clubs, three no is 15%. You don't have to do this. I'll tell you the only, I've seen one person had 14,000 points and the other person had 7,000. That's only because they dropped out of bridge a while. And they got in the biggest argument about this because they missed a slam. Because what, you know, they weren't on the same page about that bid. And so I don't, I don't think it's anything to make a federal case out of. I think it's easier for you just to say, this is going to be too no Trump, and this is going to be my default bid, and it's 12 to how much? Unlimited. Because we said that our second bid doesn't show our strength yet. So that's, that's my recommendation. Let's, um, let's look at these bids. 
on page 28. The Jumpery bid is a solid suit. No extras promised. Jump shift. We're not doing it. Jump to three. No trump. Don't do it. Okay? I think he's right to put the stuff in here because it is something people play. But I don't think you need to worry your head about it. What would you rebid on hand number A if, if your partner bid two clubs? Spades. Two spades. That was almost, you're looking for the, what, how, what, how she tricking me, right? Mm -hmm. It's an easy rebid, two spades. What about hand B? Two spades? Three. Where's the jack? Oh. Oops. Open. Oh, you need seven, seven or ace, king, queen, jack, sixth. Two spades. C, you could jump to three spades to set the spade suit and um, go from there. And D, what's your rebid? Two hearts. Two hearts. No brainer. Hand E. One spade, two clubs. Three clubs. Natural, right? Seven, fourteen, eighteen. Which one do you want? F. Number F. One spade, two clubs. Well, no, the, if you rebid, you know, when we rebid over one no trump forcing, we might be bidding a three card suit. But when we rebid over a two over one, we should have a four card suit. And so I would just bid two no trump. Two no trump. It's a great hand. Partners bid the clubs. That's the suit we don't have, right? Right. So I would just bid two no trump. Uh, so that's denying any four card suit. Yeah, and uh, it's denying, yeah, denies, pretty much denies a four card suit. Or it just says that if you have clubs, then no trump is probably where we want to play. Hand number G, again, you've got seven of them, but king, queen, nine. Two spades. Two spades. No jump. And number H is a jump. That is a pretty bad hand, but it's 13 <laughs> points. And it is exactly the seven tricks that you have in your trump suit and probably, uh, probably no more. So. He's got to have something that you're doing two over one. Yeah, he does. He does. He's got to have. And he certainly doesn't have anything in spades, right? He has nothing in spades. So to get to two over one, he's got to have some kings and queens or aces out there. In those um, other three suits. Always go to slam with unknown values in partners hand, right? Right, right. Okay. Um, let's look at the uh, bidding when it is over uh, two diamonds or a a two heart response to the spade suit. Now, if partner bids two hearts over your one spade, he's got to have five. If he bids two hearts over your one spade, he's got to have he's got to have five. Um, so let's look at the bidding. Uh, if partner guarantees. Five by saying two hearts. How many does opener need to have to raise? Three. Three. Normally, opener likes to have four to raise responder at, if he bids one heart because he can do that with only four. Mm -hmm. But when he bids two hearts, he's promising five. Therefore, we can raise him with, uh, with only um, three. So, let's look at the bidding on uh, page 33. Uh, what would you rebid if it goes one spade, two diamonds? You 
you opened a crappy hand, didn't you? Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> but it's a two-suitor. I think I think I would open that. So you have to bid what? Three clubs. Uh, some people believe that if you go to the three level, it is some sort of high reverse. Over two, over one, I would ignore that and I would bid my hand exactly like he does. Uh, hand number B, one spade, two diamonds, two spades, right? And one spade, two diamonds, three spades. And then one spade, two diamonds on D, two hearts. See, these are feeling natural, aren't they? Or did you go ahead and did you work? Did, are you peeking? Okay, okay don't peek. Uh, hand number E. Boy, that's a crappy 13, isn't it? Uh, one spade, two, two diamonds. I think I would probably rather bid, uh, I would rather bid to no Trump, but we do have good clubs. And we have a singleton. So I think three clubs is a better bid. Is your hand a stronger hand in a suit or in no Trump? Suit. It's a stronger hand in a suit. And one thing I see is a, tr is a trend everywhere is people learn to disdain the minor so much that they never bid minor suit slams. And this is a perfect example that the partner has four or five clubs and a great hand that we could be playing six clubs that wouldn't make six no trump. So support with support. It's not wrong to support with support. Uh, go ahead and bid raise his clubs. He bid diamonds. He bid, I'm sorry. Did he bid diamonds? Uh -huh. Oh, I bid, I'm sorry, I bid three clubs. I think I got ahead of myself. He bid diamonds on the next one, right? Okay, that one I would raise diamonds. F. 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 You have 18 points in support of diamonds. You very well might have a diamond uh, slam here. So if you bid three diamonds, and I mean some people will run to the North Pole and back before they will support a minor suit bid by their partner. They never ever will tell a partner they've got support. And you're in a two over one auction, support. Somebody can always come back and and uh, bid no trump later. And you need four to, to bid. Uh, no, well, you, you need four to probably have slam interest, but what did we say? There's a uh, hand number. Uh, sometimes we, we, we support because another bid is worse, like I is worse. Mm -hmm. It would be worse to bid two no trump with an unstopped heart suit. Mm -hmm. It would be worse to bid two spades with that ready five card suit. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we do the lesser of evils. And here, supporting with three, and at least it's good, it's a good three. Your partner doesn't have long diamonds. He's going to come back and say something else. You know? Maybe he has heart stopped and he'll bid three no trump. Uh, board G, one spade, Two diamonds. I bid my hearts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bid my hearts. Majors before minors. And Game before slam. And if your partner bids two no trump, what's your third bid? Diamonds. If he bids two no trump, then I bid three diamonds. Now, if I bid three suits, he ought to know about the club suit. If over my two hearts he bids three clubs, I bid three diamonds. Only if he raises hearts or spades. Do I not <laughs> go bid the diamonds? Number H, we're not going to do that. Uh, we're just going to bid two diamonds, right? Or three diamonds. We're not going to splinter. Right? right? Yeah. We don't need to complicate. We don't need to complicate.